Welcome to another bidding tutorial. I hope you guys are excited about this tutorial as much as I am. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are just stopping by for the first time, do well to subscribe to my channel. If you are an old subscriber, you know I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on watching. So with me here is size 6 crystal beads. These are original uh, size 6 crystal beads. You can see that it's glittering. So I have 100 pieces here, although I didn't finish using the 100 pieces. So I've gone ahead to cut some of these beads into my bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that aside. Now I'm going to be using my beading needle, okay? This is a size 6 bead, so your normal needle won't pass through the beads, okay? So I'm going to be using my matching color thread and I've gone ahead to knot the thread. So you can see the middle line on my fabric, okay? So I'm, this middle line is going to be as a guide as I proceed. So before you do this, you want to make sure that you iron your fabric before... You sew your fabric, okay? So all these crease lines is will be as a guide, okay? So now I'm going to take my needle. I'll pass it into the fabric like so, underneath the fabric. And then I'll come out on that my crease line, okay? On the middle of the dress, okay? Okay, so now that my needle is out from the middle of the crease line, I'm going to pass a little, I'm going to take my needle and pass it into the fabric again, pinching just a little. So I'm going to pass the needle into the loop I made and then I will knot another thread. I will knot it just to make sure that it's firm. So after I'm done knotting my thread, I'm going to start picking my beads like so. So I just eyeballed this, okay? So I was, I'm was i okay with the length I have. So I'm just going to pass the needle into the waistline and I'll come down by half of an inch like so. That's the spacing I want for my bead. You can do more than that. You can just be creative with what you are working on. There's no rule to these things. Okay, so now that I've passed my needle into the fabric, I'm going to come back very close to the bead on the waistline, okay? So before you pass your needle, you want to make sure that the remaining thread you have on your needle is long enough to pass through, is long enough to accommodate the length of the next uh, bead strand that you are making, okay? I hope this is explicit. So once you measure the length you want, I'm not counting these beads, I'm just eyeballing this because it's a lot of work. I'm just eyeballing it, okay? Once I see that the spacing in between each bead is okay, I will just continue like so, okay? So now I'm going to pass into my thread, into the fabric, and then I'll bring it out like so. Note that I'm making the waistline very close to each other, so I'm not doing up to 0 0.25 on the waistline. But on the side seam line, I'm doing approximately five half of an inch, okay? So you can see that I just checked if the thread I have is long enough to accommodate the third line that I'm making, okay? So now I'm satisfied with this, so I'm going to pass it into the side seam again, 
and then I'll come down by half of an inch. So you can see me checking if I'm okay with the spacing I have in between the, the beads. Okay, so I'm okay with it. Now I'm going to pass my needle into the side seam, okay? On the front line, okay? On the front part, on the front part of the dress. So I'm just passing it into the side, okay? So before doing this technique, this drop bead for the waistline and the side seam, you want to make sure that this, you want to make sure that the dress is the actual perfect fit for your client. Hmm. You don't want to make, you don't want to make this mistake, oh, hmm. because beading is a lot of work. You, you can ask your client to come for fitting. Once they fit their dress and they are satisfied with it before you start bidding or doing anything. Or otherwise, if you don't, if your bra if your client is not coming for fitting, make sure you check your measurement twice to be double sure. Okay, so now you can see me checking the length of the um thread that I have left to see if it will accommodate the next line. So I'm just going to continue like so okay you can see this half an inch spacing i have on the side seam of my dress so i've gone ahead to make several lines as you can see the waistline is very very close to each other so now i'm going to be teaching you how to finish your thread okay so now i'm just going to pass after stringing my beads i'm just going to pass it into the fabric again but this time i'll be pinching just a little fabric not as much as i was pinching when i was um, starting the work okay so i'll just take a little fabric and then i'll pass my thread into the bead like so so this technique is a technique is the technique I'm using to make sure that my thread doesn't show to make sure that my work is neat. So after I'm done passing into the bead, I'm just going to tie it like so. I'm going to tie it on that same part where the bead came out from. So I'm, once I'm done tying, I will pass my needle into more beads. And then I'm going to tie again, okay? Know that I'm not tying once. I'm tying several times, maybe like three times or four times. It depends on you, okay? So after I'm done passing and tying, okay, you can see how I'm tying. So I'm going to pass it into the beads again and tie one more time. Okay, I think I tied like three times for this particular one. So once you are done tying several times like you as you want, the next thing you are going to do, you won't cut the thread on that particular place where you tied. You pass your needle. You pass the needle. You pass your thread into more beads. Okay? You pass it into more beads again. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm passing it into more beads. So once I'm done passing like so, I'm just going to cut this out once I'm satisfied with it. So you can see the thread I am cutting. You can see the way I'm cutting it. Don't make me mistake by cutting your uh, bead. So, okay, you can see how neat and clean this is. Nobody will know that that's where I finished uh, the knot. So I figured out a way to make my work faster. 
So instead of, and this is how the beads came in strands like this, one, one strand. So instead of cutting my beads into fabric, into a, a plate, I'm just going to pass my needle into the strings like so. I will continue to pass it into the string. This way, I, I can pick more than one bead at a time. But if you are picking the beads on your palm, you won't be able to pick more than one at a time. So you can see like this one, I'm picking like five or six at a go. So this will make my work faster. So once I'm done passing my uh, my my needle into the bead, you can see the way uh, the thread came out. Okay, now I'm just going to cut the string. So once I'm done cutting the string that came with the bead, I'm going to remove the string. Just watch me. You can see I just pulled it out. So now I will continue with my work. So if I see that the bead uh, that I have picked is more than what I want, I'm going to reduce it. But if it's not enough, I'm going to add to it. So here I have 20 lines of beads. So for the first strand of bead, I have 86 for the first strand. So I'm going to replicate that first strand, the 86 on the other side, okay? So now I've come back to the middle of my fabric because I'm done with this roll. Now I'm back to the middle of my fabric. So I'm going to pick 86 strands. You can see the way I'm tying the knot just the same way I started the first uh, roll, okay? You can see the way I knot the fabric very tight. So now I'll pick my strands and then I will continue picking my beads. So for the first bead, I'm doing 86 strands. If you are using a size 8 bead or a size 10 bead, you might not pick as much as 86 for yours because that bead is bigger and will, contain, and will occupy more, more space, okay? So now I'm back to the side seam of my dress, okay? So I'll pass my needle into the side seam and I'll come out by half of an inch, like so. So you can see what I'm doing. When you are doing this, make sure your fabric is not squeezed so that it won't reduce your measurement or it won't give it a funny look. So now I've gone ahead to pass my beads again. So I'm checking if I'm okay with the space in between the beads. So since I'm okay, I'm just going to pass my needle and come out from the other side like so. So you can see what the other side is looking like already. So now I'm done with my job. I have 20 beads on one side and I have 17 on the other side because I want a high-low effect. So now I'm just going to throw in some bead on the bustier part of the dress and I am done with my job. So this drop bead technique can be done in several ways. This one was done on the sleeve. 
This other one was done on the bust, on the, on the under bust. You can see this one on the under bust as well. So this is actually the one I got inspiration from, but I didn't want to really replicate the same thing. So thank you guys for watching. I love you.